there were two more questions to you. Oh to yes, well I kind of, I thought I was, I mentioned Thai bank kleptocracy. Okay, please. Yeah. Hi, I have two questions as well. The first one is that whether you think that the continued focus and uh, with this one MDB uh, investigation uh, will galvanize uh, Malaysian citizens in general uh, to focus on the politics of good governance as opposed to in the past, uh, you know, racial divides and so on. So, and how that would affect the future of Malaysia post one MDB. Secondly, just a very pragmatic question. What happens to money that gets frozen uh, by governments abroad, seeing that these are money that Malaysian taxpayers have contributed towards all their working lives? Thank you. Um, Yes, I, I, I wouldn't do something, on, you know, if it was completely hopeless. And in fact, you know, it's been incredibly inspiring covering this story for the very point you've made. I, I just love reading the comments, uh, not on, just on my stories, but on all the uh, stories relating to this issue in Malaysia. You compare the comments, um, you know, by ordinary citizens writing in Malaysia to, you know, our newspaper comments. They're so thoughtful. They are thinking about big democratic themes. You know, they talk about you know <coughs> divisions of power and you know uh, the need for you know um, checks and balances, uh, independence of the judiciary. You know, people in Malaysia are thinking in the way we don't bother because we just take it all for granted. And it's been really, really interesting uh, seeing that uh, you know growing understanding. Uh, you know. Even to see Dr. Mahathir come out and say that, you know, there is need in Malaysia for more independent media, you know? Great. So even he worked it out. Um, and I do think there has been an evolution, you know, there's been a democratic consciousness that has definitely evolved over this. And yes, you mentioned, uh, you know, the constant harping on, and I, I shouldn't say that, but about race and religious differences, which do understandably, you know, um, ride high in a, in a society like Malaysia where you have, where people have to mix together because they come from different backgrounds. Um, and, 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 you know, it's, it has kind of paralysed thinking, you know, and you have political parties that are just based on race and all these issues. And, 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 you know, and it's really great, particularly to see young people starting to think beyond those traditional divides together, cross race, cross religion, to you know those universal principles that will decide in the end whether this is going to you know you know you're going to come out with a um, an informed democracy you know a, a, a democratic base in Malaysia that can move forward um, which is possible there's a there's a you know there's a terrific thinking professional educated class in Malaysia and there's hope for the country or whether you know um, Najib's going to crack down so badly, divide you all as he's doing his darndest at the moment, um, you know, whipping up tensions, whipping up religious issues, um, you know, for his own, you know, his view, his own political survival. Um, and, you know, I very much hope that, you know, that this will win through and we, we're seeing the march um, this weekend, which is based on democratic principles, protecting democratic principles. Um, yeah, the money, I often get asked about the money. Um, and yeah, I mean, even people, you know, I, I've been talking to people, sort of, for example, from Switzerland, you know, they've, gone, they've frozen quite a lot of bank accounts. Um, and, and they're starting to say, look, you know, do we have, we're going to have to give it back at some stage. Um, do we have, you know, we may be in a situation where we have to give this back to Najib. You know? <laughs> so all I can say is, you know, it is your money. There are lots of um, well-intentioned international regulatory bodies sitting on the money. I suggest you change your government so you've got a better chance of it going back to someone who isn't a crook. <laughs>